Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Those with narcissistic personality disorder can be incredibly challenging to understand and change. One important insight shared by experts is that psychology has its limits. While it offers many explanations and therapies, there are aspects of narcissism that transcend psychological explanation and enter the realm of pure evil. People often struggle to accept the fact that someone can be so inherently dark and evil. And, accepting the pure evil, inherent in some individuals, is difficult because many people project their own good qualities onto narcissists. They judge narcissists by their own standards of empathy and compassion, failing to realize that narcissists lack these traits. Narcissists have cognitive empathy, they understand emotions, but can't truly empathize. They often pretend, and people are easily deceived by this facade. It's crucial to understand that projecting your good attributes onto a narcissist is why it's so hard to grasp their true nature. Narcissists do not think or feel like you, they lack genuine empathy and compassion, making it difficult for many to comprehend their capacity for evil. So, in today's video, we'll talk about, are narcissists evil? And, without a shadow of a doubt, the answer is a resounding, yes. The way narcissists manipulate and plan, every aspect of the cycle of your relationship or interaction, is absolutely diabolical. Every despicable behavior, every lie, every dimension of the insidious psychological abuse, and the calculated destruction they bring to a person's life, it's all deliberate and sadistic. At the core of everything, narcissists are evil. They have no soul, no remorse, and no empathy. They are merely destructive zombies, roaming the earth. And to prove that they are in fact, evil, consider these main points. Number 1. A narcissist makes conscious decisions. They are fully aware that their actions are hurtful. They know they are hurting people and yet they choose to do it again and again, because it's fun for them. They knowingly cause grief and bad times for people, just so they can feel good about themselves. If you have ever seen that evil smirk, when they do something horrible, then you would know that there is an evil person, behind those eyes. Number 2. They intentionally select who to abuse. They abuse people who are very close to them, like their partner, spouse, family members, siblings, parents, children, or some selected individuals. Number 3. They have the ability to control themselves, but they don't. A narcissist knows the difference between right and wrong when it pertains to them. Other people simply don't matter. And their behavior goes beyond selfishness or insensitivity. It is a deliberate choice to harm and exploit others, for personal gain and pleasure. And one who deliberately and repeatedly chooses to cause harm, is at the very least, comfortable with their actions, are evil. I understand that narcissism has become a buzzword that seems to be on everyone's radar recently. But the truth is, if you've experienced narcissistic abuse, there's no denying it. You may not have fully understood what was happening at the time, you just knew that something felt wrong. But then you stumbled upon videos like this one and felt understood. Suddenly you realized there was an explanation for the abusive experience you'd been through or are still enduring, and you feel validated. This is one reason why the internet is so valuable. While narcissists have always existed, today, in a world of connectivity, we can share our experiences, connect the dots, and expose the horrendous ways these individuals operate. Often when we think of evil, images of notorious historical figures or nefarious villains from our favorite movies come to mind. Yet, there's a form of evil that is more insidious and pervasive, lurking in the shadows of everyday life, the narcissist. Unlike the flamboyant and often exaggerated characters in fiction, narcissists blend into society, 
often disguised by charm and charisma. But make no mistake, their impact can be devastating, leaving a trail of emotional and psychological destruction in their wake. Narcissists are like demonic agents, whose spirits were broken at a young age through rejection and trauma. They've metaphorically signed their souls over to the devil, carrying out his evil work. The devil's work is to steal and destroy the souls of empathic people. Just look at the condition of victims of narcissistic abuse, and you'll see the empty, broken, vacant eyes of someone who has been destroyed. Many victims are medicated to ease their trauma and pain. Narcissists derive pleasure from seeing your suffering and watching you die slowly. They take delight in seeing your body deteriorate, your mind unravel, and your resorting to drugs to cope with their abuse. They enjoy watching your sadness as they turn your children against you. Narcissists want to destroy your mind, body, soul, and spirit, finding joy in watching you die slowly from the health ailments their abuse caused. They relish getting you to the point where you no longer want to live, savoring every minute of it. They even imagine smirking at the funerals of those they tormented. Narcissists want you dead because they, in a sense, died a long time ago. They are like the walking dead, sleepwalking through life and reenacting their childhood traumas onto others. They are zombies among us, using empathic people as life support to avoid flatlining. Narcissists create much of the world's havoc, suffering, and misery, projecting their evil onto everything. If society recognized narcissistic personality disorder as the lethal mental illness it is, we could perhaps stop the bleeding and begin to address the damage. However, narcissists are deemed useful in the business world, so sadly, the change is quite unlikely. Narcissists want you dead because they already died inside. Their core is an empty space, where there should be a spirit and a soul. They are filled with deadness and darkness. Therefore, raising awareness about narcissistic abuse is very crucial. Narcissists are the embodiment of evil and they are excellent at cloaking their behavior for short periods of time, usually the length of time it takes to suck in fresh supply. These individuals are so predatory and pathological that you often don't see their true nature until it's too late. In the beginning of a relationship, they will ask you many questions, not because they care or are genuinely interested in building a rapport with you, but to gather information to use against you later. For example, they might ask about your childhood, making you feel seen and heard especially if you've experienced childhood trauma or difficult family relationships. This feeling of being understood is a trap. They want to know your deepest and darkest secrets, merely to exploit them. You might open up about a complex relationship with a sibling, sharing how you felt unseen and unloved. The narcissist will remember this information and use it strategically. When they decide to devalue or discard you, they might form a relationship with that very sibling, the one you confided about. This is a calculated move to hurt you deeply. Narcissists are capable of such calculated cruelty, they might even sleep with your family members to bring you pain. A narcissist's mind is twisted, sick and dangerous, and narcissists do not and cannot love. Narcissists do not care about you or anyone else. People often don't realize how intentional and strategic narcissists are in their actions. Their only goal is to knock you down, deriving pleasure from your suffering. The evil they exhibit is deliberate and serves to boost their own sense of power. This wickedness is difficult for many to comprehend, but it's real, and it operates with the sole purpose of causing harm. From the very beginning, their purpose was to bring you pain and diminish your sense of self. They seek opportunities to do this because it elevates them. Understand that narcissists are truly evil and their actions are driven by a desire to cause suffering. 
They are strategic and malevolent, and their goal is always to inflict as much pain as possible. Narcissists are driven by evil intentions, and there is no rationalizing their actions. Evil, by its nature, does what it does without remorse. And in examining the behaviors of narcissists, it becomes evident that their actions towards their own children are particularly egregious, often surpassing the mistreatment they inflict upon their partners. Children of narcissists endure a distinct form of abuse, lacking nurturing and essential life guidance. Instead, they are groomed to perpetually provide toxic supply to their narcissistic parent. From a young age, these children are taught manipulative tactics such as gaslighting and guilt tripping, inheriting these destructive behaviors as tools for survival. Narcissists easily discard both their children and partners, treating them as disposable items. And witnessing the rages of a narcissist can be deeply traumatic, as their expressions often betray a chilling inhumanity. Manipulation is a constant in their interactions, as they weave deceit from the outset to the very end of relationships. Infidelity is commonplace among narcissists, and they often engage in infidelity with multiple partners. Moreover, they frequently engage in alienating children from their decent parents, exacerbating the emotional turmoil of their victims. The immense damage caused by narcissists is undeniable leading to tragically high rates of suicide among those affected. Reflecting on these observations, one can only conclude that a narcissist, if deemed unfit to parent, poses a significant threat to all those with whom they interact. If you ever find yourself entangled with a true narcissist, you'll find that they are the very face of evil, and God help you, to escape such people, because they'll make it damned near impossible. That said, if you ever meet the extended family of your narcissist and you know what to look for, you will likely see where it comes from. Professionals believe that cluster B personality disorders, including narcissism, are a combination of genetics, upbringing, and other factors. Generational narcissism is common. Narcissistic parents will often have a golden child and a scapegoat child to unleash their narcissism upon. This upbringing by a narcissistic parent will likely lead to a second generation of narcissism, and so on. Sad, but likely more common than we realize. And, if the narcissist in your life is your spouse or significant other, you will likely begin to despise certain members of their extended family as well. If they aren't actively contributing to your misery now, they are likely the reason why the person in your life treats you like a disposable object, rather than as a human being with rights and feelings. You'll see this if you pay attention to the interactions between your significant other and their narcissistic family member. They will act differently around this person, and will never go against them, regardless of whether or not their loyalty makes any sense. And remember, that you will never be able to change the way a narcissist thinks. Their natural way of thinking is hardwired, and you have to think of it as someone who has a contagious disease. If you find yourself dealing with a narcissist, you only have two choices. First, you can accept that nothing you say or do will ever be good enough for them, and resign yourself to enduring indefinite and severe verbal and often physical abuse, gaslighting, and frequent smear campaigns. Alternatively, you can choose to leave. These are the only options available, and despite any facade they might present, nothing will ever change, never. And beware, when you get involved with a narcissist. Be prepared to lose most of your friends and emotional support, because they'll make sure that you and your reputation are screwed for a long time if you ever leave. So, just stay away from these people at all costs or be ready for your entire life and everything you ever worked for, to get ruined. So, I hope this helps you. If this content was helpful, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Your support is greatly appreciated.
Always feel free to share your experiences in the comment section below. I express my gratitude to everyone for tuning in and watching. Let us help spread the awareness and lead healthier and fulfilling lives.